Tristan Thomas here with Clancy Hornberger and head coach of the Stanley Blue Jays, Heath Hetzel. And uh, today we're talking, going inside the play with a shot heard around North Dakota, I guess you could say. Uh, going back to that game against Ken Mayer, you know, state ranked team, game tied uh, at 50, just a few seconds left. Ken Mayer has the ball. What was your message to the team, coach, uh, coming out of that timeout? Well, uh, Coach Zimmer called that timeout, and there was 7.4 seconds left, and, and it was a great time for us to kind of regroup, too, and we had plan, uh, been playing a 1-3-1 zone uh, the whole entire game except the last 7.4 seconds, and I told the girls in the huddle, I said, uh, we're, we're manning up, so match up and full court press, and we don't want to give them an easy look, so the girls did it, and Bethany uh, led her girl over to the, to the side, and Clancy stepped in front of the pass and dribbled, uh, had a few seconds left and was able to dribble the length of the floor and uh, or to the about the 30 foot line i guess and and let it go and i don't i don't know if she heard me or not but i was kind of watching the clock too as she went by me but of course the fans are hollering and such and so then she let it fly and uh it was just a uh, was pretty fitting that uh, ended up with a win like that yeah and for you clancy i mean what was going through your mind at that point of of you get that steal i mean what was it like seeing that seeing that part of it and seeing that you were going to have a chance there at the end oh well, i stole it and then i looked up at the clock and there wasn't much time so i kind of just chucked it I'm not going to lie. And I heard people saying shoot it. I don't know. I didn't think it was going in, but then it did. So. Yeah, and what was that moment like seeing that go in? I mean, you bank it in and you get that win. I mean, what, what was that moment like? What was, was there anything going through your head at that point? I don't know. I just couldn't believe I made it, I guess. It was crazy. Never done that before. So. Yeah, and then just the, the reaction, celebration. I mean, you were right there to, to give her a big hug. Did you know that shot was going in? I mean, it looked like you were kind of on your way over there a little bit uh, as that, that shot was going up. Well, when she let it go, I could definitely tell that it was, you know, I had a perfect 45-degree uh, angle on the on the ball, on the the ball backboard, and so I could tell. I mean, it looked like it had a really, really good chance. And so, you know, and Clancy's a, she, she loves those kind of shots. You know, we do kind of some of that stuff in practice a little bit, and, and so she, she loves kind of those big-time shots like that. And so, so uh, not wasn't uh, super super surprising that it went in. I mean, she had a great look at it and just let it fly. So it was it was pretty exciting. And what was it like to see her just just make that shot? I mean, what, and all the reactions from that. What was it like to see her? You know, a player I'm sure you've known for, for a few years uh, get, get a big moment like that. Yeah, it, you know, interesting enough, uh, I've actually been Clancy's coach since seventh grade. Uh, I moved up from junior high to the high school ranks, and and so I've coached her the last five years in a row. So I've got to know her and her teammates, uh, her classmates especially really well and and so just a really special moment and like she said she's never done it before so that's even more special to have players that that, that come through in the clutch like that and and uh, just that confidence builder you know for her and her in the Blue Jays you know and uh, like you mentioned Ken Mayer ranked number three in the state they're still ranked number three and so uh, we hadn't beat them I think since 2018 so that was the first win against them so that huge confidence boost just to get over uh, that win you know whether we can repeat it again or not who knows uh, but we're going to give it our best uh, come tournament time and uh, the end of the season here. So. Yeah, and for you, Clancy, uh, that, that moment of, of knocking down the shot and then your coach is right there to give you a big old hug. I mean, what, what was that moment like uh, to have him right there with you? It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome, yeah, and the crowd's reaction, really. I like everyone really got excited. It was just very heartwarming. And what did it mean for you to, to beat you know a team like Ken Mayer that's, you know, has all the expectation being number three in the state? Uh, what would it mean to, to beat that that team in front of the in front of the fans? Um, that we can do it, you know. It's not like it wasn't an accident. You know, we can actually beat them and uh, make it that far. So. Yeah, and, and, and having uh, you know Coach Hetzel as your coach since uh, seventh grade, as you just mentioned. I mean, what what's he meant to you in, in you know helping you uh, throughout your uh, your basketball career here? I mean, he's watched us grow, and taught us what we most of us all know. So, I don't know. He's like our he's like our dad. So. <laughs> Awesome. Well, you know, congrats. Uh, certainly a moment I'm sure uh, you'll remember, and a lot of us around here will uh, remember for many years to come. So appreciate it, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Awesome. Thanks Thank for you. having us. You bet. All right.